G'day viewers. Even though it's Wednesday, I thought I'd change things up a little. Having these theme days is all well and good, but sometimes it can be hard to mush my ideas to fit into the theme that I've d designed. And Wang of Out Wednesday, what am I not giving a fuck about today, is regularly a challenging thing uh, for me. Uh, I saw this once around, I couldn't let it go, and it almost fits in. Maybe I'll rename the day to What the Fuck Wednesday, because that was my reaction when I saw this story. Just what in the actual fuck is going on here? And hey, I hardly even have to change the theme music. What the Fuck Wednesday is the same number of syllables. Maybe I can talk Blordo into redoing the theme for me. But anyway, what am I talking about? Well, there was this catalogue for Target, and it was for a junior bikini. So yeah, young teens bikini. Okay, fine. And yes, it's a Photoshop fail, a Photoshop horror story. And look, yeah, there, there's dozens and dozens of these. You can probably find dozens every week, in fact. The fashion industry and retail industries obsession with photoshopping their models leads to just bizarre and awful mistakes. It's you know, it's one argument that, oh, this photoshopping is creating an unrealistic image uh, that people can't live up to. But then there's the, oh my god, why, who the fuck thought that was a good idea? And that's where this one falls. See, it starts, it's not just stuff like, you've got your standard photoshop fail with this freakish, long, skinny, bent arm like, what the fuck is going on there? And they're just technically bad things like these weird little jags in the thing. Is there no quality control going on at all? But then you get this bit. Yeah, you wanted to see my head there, didn't you? But what the fuck? It's like, okay, everyone's assuming this is somehow inspired by this box gap, or the media who like to be a bit more demure have started calling it a thigh gap. Everyone on the internet was calling it a box gap when it came up. The whole idea of having a gap between uh, your thighs is somehow means you're sexy. Whatever. But somebody has just done the worst execution of this. I mean, it's a bad fucking idea, honestly. Just photoshopping a young model to give her the thigh gap is just a fucked idea. But the execution of this is so bad. It just beggars belief first that anyone, even just a beginner, could sit there and go, yep, I think I've done the job there. And whenever I bring that up, a lot of graphic artists I know goes, please, don't blame the person on it. They get given these instructions by bosses and they do stuff that they think is horrible and wrong because the bosses say they've got to. And I've worked in IT, and I know that can easily be true. So let's say I go with that. Let's say that the person who actually executed it knew it was bad, it was technically bad. Forget the uh, morality of it, but just it's technically bad. It's an appallingly shit bit of Photoshop in about ten different ways. Who pushed that decision? Like, somebody said do this, someone did it, then several someone's okay, like, before it got away from the graphic artist, like, their boss is going, yep, that's what we want. And then it's gone off to be put into the catalogue and someone's gone, yep. And then someone's responsible for releasing that into the wild. And it's gone through all these people have said, yeah, that's an ace idea. Let's go with that. And this is why, or one of the reasons why, I get the shit whenever you hear politicians go, Oh, you've got to let the businesses run. Let them create the jobs. They're the ones with the know-how to do it. I work in the corporate world, okay? It's full of fucking morons. That's a combination of luck, lying... And bluster and bullying is how half these people get their roles. It's not fucking talent. Yes, there are some incredibly talented people out there in the corporate world. I reckon they number somewhere between 10 and 15% of the people who have positions of authority. The rest are just the sort of fuckwit who pushes themselves into that role. And this 
is, for me, this is the summary. This is the failure of capitalism. Because this is from one of the engines of capitalism. A major chain department store has decided this is a good idea. And when I see things like that, all I can think is, what the fuck is going on in this world?